all my subscribers and to all of you who are new, hello! I hope you enjoy this. I'm recording on a Saturday because tomorrow at the church, Sundays are my normal days to record, and tomorrow is going to be crazy. There's a lot of stuff going on at the church, and I just know time-wise I'm not going to be able to fit in recording a podcast. So, Saturday, today is actually a lazy day. We don't really have much planned, so I figured this day would be a good day. So, with that, I want to say welcome to episode two of the Lori Lulu Crochet Podcast. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as LoriLulu327. And if you need to get a hold of me, email is a good way to do that. And that is LoriLulu327 at gmail.com. I gotta say, when I picked the name for my crochet podcast and Instagram, I didn't think people would have a hard time with the name. Um, because... Lori Lulu, or Lori Lou, is what I've been called my whole life. It's a nickname that my parents called me since I was a baby. <laughs> um, and then, like, a couple years into our marriage, my mother-in-law was like, Hey, Lori Lou. had no idea that's what my parents called me. It just seems to fit. Other nicknames that I've had is Chickadee and Sweet Pea, courtesy of my mother. Thanks, Mom. Uh, my brother has called me Sissy. My husband calls me Hun all the time. Or, if he really needs something, I'm Honey Bunny. And I don't mean that in an inappropriate way. Actually, I'm trying to think of the last time he's actually used my name. My actual name, besides in a sermon illustration. Which, I should mention, my name is Lori. I live here in the Chicago suburbs with my husband, Ryan. He is a pastor, hence sermon illustrations. <laughs> we live here with our two cats, Dixie and Daisy. And I mentioned last time that we hadn't had much snow. I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that because I'm looking out my window and the snow is blowing. They're predicting like six to 12 inches for our area. I've heard different numbers, but 6 to 12 seems to be more consistent. I'll try to get videos of that, just so you can see what I'm living with <laughs> in the Chicago area. Ugh. Okay, so, life stuff, life updates, what's been going on? Well, some of you know that my husband lost his job Yes, he is a pastor, but he's a bivocational pastor. Um, and his other job, the hospital that owned the clinic that he worked at, sold the clinic, and he was without a job. But he did find one. It's actually at the place just down the street that we were hoping that he would get. Um, so he's working with special needs adults, and he's no longer working night shift. It's Every day is a different shift, so... I was trying to remember, okay, today's Tuesday, what hours do does he work? It's Wednesday, what hours does he work? That's going to take some getting used to. Every week is the same, so every Monday is the same shift, every Tuesday is the same shift, but still trying to remember. It's going to be difficult. And he's not quite sure about this job either. Of course, he hasn't had to be at the bottom of the totem pole in a long time. He had his other job for 15 years. So, this is a new thing for us, <laughs> and a new thing for him. So if you could keep him in your prayers, I'd appreciate it. As for me, uh, tax season is swiftly approaching, and it's picking up. I work for a CPA. Um, this week, I was, <laughs> this week was spent doing filing, which my mom and I call that the F word, because we hate it so much. Um, I basically, we, we do everything electronically, but we keep paper files, and so our file cabinets have been overflowing, so we need to thin them out, so I went through every file we had and pulled out 2014 and 2013 returns, and they're in box, separate boxes, and so, 
when the seven year time limit is up, he can just take the 2013 box and have a bonfire. That's what he says he wants to do. All right, you do that. <laughs> but the whole week has been in the vial cabinets. My fingers hurt so bad. I, like I said, I call filing the F word because I hate it so much. It's bad on my nails, on my manicures. So I haven't had my nails painted all week. I only got to do that last night. Yay! <laughs> um, but yeah, tax season is approaching. Phone calls are picking up. And if I complain too much about tax season, let me know. I'm just really dreading this. I don't really want to do it. <laughs> but again, it can't be avoided. Death and taxes cannot be avoided, right? Which reminds me, across the street from my tax office is a funeral home. What does that say? <laughs> okay, so that's it with life stuff. As I said, it's snowing and let's just talk about yarny goodness and stuff that will keep you warm. So, finished objects. Let me grab a drink. I'm drinking out of my llama cup today. I gotta have llamas. And I have my Lucille and Laverne back there. Keeping me company. <laughs> okay, finished object. Number one is living in my Kentucky Derby bag. And I have my lovely Crochet Luna pin. Happiness is crochet. And of course, inside this is Kentucky related, right? Melanie. So Melanie from the Stitch in My Lou podcast said that she made a cowl in the best colors ever. And they were black and red, which is the colors for the University of Louisville. I'm a University of Kentucky fan, so I said, I'm making a cowl in the most bestest colors. The cowl that we made, so we made the same one. Let me get a picture is the uh, crochet, it's the Granny Chevron Cowl by Zines and Roger. And most bestest colors ever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love this so much. I've worn it so many times already because game day, right? Oh, it's nice and chunky and thick and warm. Just love it. The yarn that I use is Yarn Bee Tender Touch, and the white is Snow, which is appropriate for today, and the blue is Bluebell. This is what I had left over, which made me kind of wonder. White and the blue, I don't understand why I, I used the same amount, I don't, anyway. So this is all I have left over from the two skeins. And I have, as I said, I've worn this several times already because game day, you have to wear blue and white on game day. Uh, last Saturday I wore it to the Teen Bible Quiz. It's a ministry that my husband and I help out with. And one of my girls comes up to me and she's like, wait, your earrings even match. I'm like, yeah, it's game day. So like I had this cowl, I had my Kentucky earrings on. And I have my Kentucky socks on as well. It's game day. Yes. And again, it's game day, so I will probably be wearing this later. Because we're playing Auburn, which I hear is really good. And it makes me kind of nervous. So anyway, this will be put on, back on later. <sighs> Actually, Melanie and I have talked, and we've decided, yes, we like. she likes black and red. I like blue and white. But the best color ever is purple. Yeah, that's what we think. <laughs> okay, the next finished object is kind of also a work in progress too. Because it's, um, it's for the Little Hats Big Hearts charity. I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six finished hats. They're all newborn hats. Um, as you can see, very tiny. These ones over here, I did little scallops on the edge. Yep. Make it more girly. Um, the pattern that I use is the 30 minute newborn hat. 
I'm usually talking and visiting with people when I'm working on these, so it takes me more than half an hour. Um, I have my seventh one is in progress. It's not a work in progress. It's a make in progress. Gotta keep remembering that. I'm housing these in my uh, Quirky Monday Craft Cast project bag. Thanks, Kalisha. I love it. And then this one a lady found for me. Live, love, crochet. Yep. Yep. That's how I feel. <laughs> so yeah. Kalisha from the Quirky Monday Craft Cast. She has a podcast that's really great. You need to watch it. She makes awesome project bags. Here we go. Finish object number two. Actually, that's six of them. And the seventh one on the way. Okay, last one is in my Van Gogh project bag. And again, another Claudia Crochet Luna podcast. You need to watch her too. She's amazing. Um, yeah, it's a Christmas pin, but I don't care. I want to celebrate Christmas all the time. Actually, I still have Christmas decorations up, which are coming down today. So sad. Okay, so in this is living my diamonds and gems. Uh, beanie. Well, it's supposed to be a slouchy, but I made it a beanie instead. Um, I mentioned this in one of my Vlogmas episodes. So you have that lovely beanie. Um, this is part of my Love Your Stash Cow, which is from, which is being hosted by Hannah from the Cozy Cottage Crochet Podcast. You need to watch her too. I love her. Um, so it's stuff from my stash that I had. Um, the yarn that I use is, the purple is um, Brushworks by Yarn B in the color white purple. And then <laughs> it's attached to a work in prog uh, to a make in progress. And so then I have this blue and red that is llama yarn that's left over from a project that I made my mom. So here's my hat that I finished. Ta-da! I really like the clusters and the way the red and the blue kind of pop. The purple is kind of muted, so it's not very... So the other colors really pop against it. I kind of like that. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit of a slouch. But not much and it's really tight against so it should really help against all the snow and the wind that we have and of course uh, the tender the brush works is 80% acrylic 20% alpaca so it's alpaca and llama yarn in here oh of course you got hat here after you try it on right but I really like how that turned out and then I wasn't gonna, I said I wasn't gonna make mittens, and then I saw that um, the same maker, I forget the name of the crochet, the de pattern designer, I'll put a link down below to all of this. Um, but she also made uh, fingerless gloves and boot cuffs and a cowl to match. I don't have enough yarn for all of that, but I'm just gonna do the fingerless gloves. And here's the one in progress. As I said, I have yarn attached because it's a make in progress. Um, so there you can see my loveliness. Um, there's the thumb hole. So yeah, I just have a couple more rows to go. I was working on this at work and then it's like, you know, I really need to get back to filing. <laughs> so where I'm at. So I have one and another one to go. So that brings me to make some progress, which I've already shown you the hat and the glove that I'm working on. Um, yeah, so really the only other make in progress I have going on are my socks, which are part, I'm double dipping. Claudia from the Crochet Luna, Hannah from the Cozy Cottage Crochet, they're doing cows. Um, 
Cozy Cottage Crochet Hannah is doing the Love Your Stash Cow, and I've had this yarn in my stash for two years. Claudia is doing a sock along. Um, yeah, sock theme cow 2019. And each month is a different theme. But I've come to realize I don't really like making socks. I just don't. I get to the heel and I just get frustrated and I don't want to do it anymore. So I'm not really rushing myself to get this done in January because um, the January theme is new beginnings. I'm getting scratchy here. Hold on. So anyway, um, so I'm using a pattern from Ron Strong Step Into Crochet. And I'm doing the, um, <laughs> the Gorman Street Toe Up sock. And again, I got to the heel and it's like, I hate it. I really, really hate this. So I decided I'm going to research other heels. And this is a free pattern I found on Ravelry. It's um, Patton's Croy Socks, uh, Toe Up Socks. And it's actually an afterthought crochet heel. I'm gonna see how I like the, if I like this much better. So without further ado, my yarn that I'm using fits the theme perfectly. It's called New Day by Leading Men Fiber Arts. I love the green. It's not even green. It's yellow and turquoise and blue, like a royal blue. And so, here are my socks. So I have the toe. Oh. Get all the yarn out of the way. And as you can see, my progress keeper is marking the top side of the foot. It's a snowflake, which is perfect for today. Yes. And this is from Claudia from the Crochet Luna podcast. And here's my sock. And you can see I've made left room for a heel. And here's my sock. So we'll see how this goes. No, I I will definitely finish these socks, just because I'm that kind of person that I'm just not gonna put pressure on myself to get these done in January, because we're already to the 19th. February is coming quickly. Oh, and it is living in my crochet cakes. It's another podcast you should watch. Clarissa Beth makes these wonderful bags. This is her Star Wars bag, Punch It. And you have Rebel Alliance and the Millennium Falcon. And then there's Star Wars fabric on the inside. Yes, I love it, Clarissa Beth. It's amazing. Okay, next work in progress. This one, I only, I'm only working on it when I go to Fiber and Friends at my local yarn store, which is called Llama Llama Ding Dong. And actually last night, it's every Friday night, and last night we were talking about how you cannot say the name of the store without moving your head, shimmy in your shoulders, Llama Llama Ding Dong, right? <laughs> so it's living, this project is living in my bag that I got from the store which is Crochet Fast Dye Warm. Um, so this is my library cowl. And it's been something that I'm working on. It's like, again, part of the Love Your Stash. And again, last night I was like, yeah, I'm like, it still seems small. What is going on? I don't understand. We'll see. I'm going to finish it. I'm going to finish it this time, I promise. So here's what I've done so far. Last time you saw, I was only like a couple rows into the green, the avocado. And I've actually started the blue, which I never got to the blue before. And if you go see my video on my Tunisian veil, you'll understand the process of this cowl. <laughs> um, so yeah. Starting different stitches, different patterns that I stitch patterns that I've never used before. So it's a fun, it's fun, it's a fun progress. Um, the next color after this blue is this lovely burgundy, not burgundy, wine maybe. 
The color name is Fairy Tale. It's Knit Picks Brava Sport. All of the yarns are Knit Picks Brava Sport. So I'm excited to get to that one. Work in progress. Now for the next section. To be. <laughs> this is stuff that is waiting to be what is meant to be. Let me get another drink here. I gotta say, being a part of this Yarny community is amazing. We are, I mean, I include myself in that, but you all are so kind and so generous and so loving, and why wouldn't you want to be a part of this? I say all that to say that I got a gift the other day. Just popped in my Ravelry <laughs> library. Um, Lacey from the Hooked on Owls podcast is a crochet designer and she's got an amazing podcast she has five children whoa that's crazy and twins that are two how she even finds time to crochet i don't know i mean i don't have kids and i <laughs> i have a hard time finding time anyway she designed this awesome awesome pattern. It's a shawl pattern. It's called the Sonora shawl. And it looks nice and big and cozy. It's made with um, Lion Brand Scarfy yarn. Um, but I had, I still have money on my gift card from Hobby Lobby. So I was like, well, let's see what I can do. So, this is the yarn I chose for my Scarfy yarn. It is Lion Brand Yarn B Soft and Sleek. And I have this one. Look at all those pretty colors. And this is in the colorway Berry Mix. I like the purple and the pink there. And then to contrast, I have this, which is Dark Heather Gray. And I figured this will make this really pop. So. That I will probably get started on this week as soon as I finish something. Although, why not have lots of works in progress? Or makes in progress. I have to get that in my head. I don't want to call it works in progress. Makes in progress. <sighs> and then, this can also be part of my Love Your Stash Cal. Because I've had the, this yarn and this yarn. <laughs> have this yarn in my stash for a while so I have this one which is it's a red heart or no it's Karen simply soft party with the sparkles I love all the purple and the gray and then I have this gray sparkly one that is red heart and the colorway light gray <laughs> Seriously, come on, come up with better names. Uh, but it has sparkle as well. And then I have this Vanna's Choice in purple. I figured mix those three together to make this. Well, let's put that there. This lovely scarf is called Madly in Love. And you can't tell from this picture but it's braided right here I figured I could blend the three colors like do a braid of different colors so yeah this is from Moogly the Moogly blog and it's free on her blog so that will be started soon I think that's it oh another 2B it's going to be done this week my first pattern. So this week I will probably do another short video um, when I actually publish when it's finally live on Ravelry and I will give you a coupon code for it and all that. And this is for my Hadley scarf. <laughs> so it's just, it's a simple scarf, long and you have buttons and then buttonholes on the end. And so here's the actual pattern. 
And I'm hoping once I get everything finished that Ravelry wants you to get done for the pattern, I will have it out for you this week. So, with that, it looks like the snow is finally dying down. They say it's supposed to last like all day and even into tomorrow. I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> anyway, so I hope you have a great two weeks. I'll see you later. Bye. We're all bundled up, ready to go outside in the snow. Gotta go over to the church, set some things up for tomorrow. We'll show ya. <laughs> so, he already shoveled. And it's still snowing. And there's more to come. But it's supposed to end soon, I hope. This is our lovely walk to church. And then we're gonna hit the parking lot that hasn't been plowed yet. Fun times, fun times. Oh. <laughs> Let's go this way. Oh, isn't he sweet? He's gonna <laughs> shuffle his feet for me so I can get through. Why are we going this way? Yeah, I'm still recording. <laughs> it's not too cold. The wind doesn't help though. I will say that. I don't have winter boots like he does. I need to get some. Mine are only dressy boots. Ooh. Oh, look at that drift. <laughs> I don't know if you can even see this on the camera. Oh, yeah, that's out of my church. Okay, I'll see you later. We made it safely. You're such a goof goofball. Always. <laughs> Love you. <laughs>